Howdy everyone, t rex and 10 here, and welcome to the Way of the Hunter. I'm really excited, this is a video I've been wanting to record for a while. And, uh, yeah, so we're finally here recording. Although today, originally I wasn't really feeling it. I wanted to record last Friday, and I was going to, other than my day went to crap, and I didn't feel like recording, but... I've been wanting to record this game for a while because it's my favorite hunting game now for sure and maybe my favorite game ever i'm not entirely sure hunting is something i enjoy more than anything else so could just be but i don't know today i want i just got a new fishing game on this on my computer and there's something i if there's anything i like almost as much as hunting it's fishing so i want i really wanted to uh what is the wait what how is Okay, apparently this is a red deer drink zone as well, uh, so often, so maybe I should come back and check it, but anyways, you know, so I wanted to do more of that and maybe record video on it, but y'all voted, did poll, said we want to see Way of the Hunter content, so here we are, finally playing Way of the Hunter, finally doing video, we're doing it in Transylvania, which I want to start in as Pierce Valley, that's my favorite map, I like that one a lot, but, we're my good friends, Actually, Spice, you should follow him on Twitch, and uh, he has a YouTube channel too. I think he says so go subscribe to it, but uh, that's S P Y C E. Here, a little plug in for you, Spice, so you're welcome. Because, yeah, you guys, he's an amazing person as well. You guys should go check out his content. He lives in uh, the UK, so he's like, can you go uh, hunt some stag and try to find a rare stag right now? So I was like, alright, I'll try. Uh, Transylvania on Romania right now, go look for a rare stag, but I've only seen one rare so far in this game. I did find an albino whitetail, but it doesn't even look albino. Um, I... No, I don't want to have to so screenshot into it now, but maybe in the future video I'll do one to turn somebody off, but it does not look albino, and so I'm kind of upset. I hope that Nine Rock Games fixes that soon and, and does make it that again, but uh, or it makes the various actually look like they're supposed to. But, anyways, so yeah, I have no idea how I'll find out by no right side, but we'll try. So, I'll go to a couple of their zones today. We'll see how long this video ends up being. Already, I feel like it's gonna actually be shorter than the classic videos, ironically, because I just don't know. Really if that's what we're looking for specifically, a rare stag is kind of be hard to find, and I don't. I don't want this point, but I can't guarantee I'm going to find that, so I guess we'll just go. So this one has been shorter than all my other intros so far, even though I just had a lot to say. There's only been three minutes, so I'm ready, and I'm ready to hang off. I could have a little bit sooner, but I had a couple things to say. But see, I'm ready, ready going, so this video might actually end up a bit short. I don't know. I can make it longer, but again, like I said, I want, I kind of want to go play Bassmaster Fishing. And eventually do content on that if people actually want to see it. If they don't, I guess I won't do them, but I want to, it, it would be cool. So, you know, tournament fishing for, you know, bass and all that, so it's really cool. Or I can even just do casual play and catch some cool fish, so that'd be nice, but... Anyways, yeah, we'll go look for some stag. Wait, what the heck is that? Ooh, that's a bear. But dang it, I don't have a good rifle for it. The 270 is a bit small. I wouldn't really trust that on a brown bear. Good for like the elk and deer and red stag and stuff, but I wouldn't really use it on a bear. So people even wouldn't really use it on a stag, but no, stag aren't that. They're big. I'm not saying they're not big, but they're the 270 can still handle them. It's a good caliber. Very powerful, accurate, reliable. It's why I used to actually hunt. So, and in this game, they did not disappoint me. Classic and Call of the Wild both disappoint me with their 270s. Freaking bush, I thought it was a bear. <laughs> not be good. No, it's a bush. But, uh, they've disappointed me. Badger zone, interesting. With their 270s. Not as good as I would have hoped, so. In this game, though, they didn't disappoint me, though. The 270s very good. So that's my main rifle most of the time. Unless I want to target something bigger. But, anyways, we'll look for stag. We'll see. Maybe we'll find out by who the heck knows. But, I only have, like,. Three or four, maybe five stag zones right now, and some of them are in kind of inaccessible areas. Like I'm trying to figure out how I ever found them. I don't, I don't, I have no idea. I don't remember. 
think that must be where I had the missions where I found the one zone. So like for the it's a it's a static mission. I'm not gonna spoil it if you haven't done it. You definitely should do the story missions in this game because they're actually fun. Or even the once you sell out the private land because they actually give you some cool stuff sometimes. And that's yeah that's what that one is. If you know, you know. It's, this is definitely one of those times where that's truly, where that statement is, yeah. You know you know about the stag mission. If not, I'm not going to spoil it. You'll find out yourself. Anyways. I don't know if I can get to that zone. Some might just be three. I don't want to have to try to go after that one if I don't have to. So, I don't know. I'll try, but I have no idea. And I I wanted to explore Nez Pierce Valley more and do more than that before I actually really got into exploring this map more. People keep asking me to come back here, which I'm not going to say no. I mean, it's not a bad map at all, but it's not what I'm used to. And so it's kind of hard for me to hunt something I don't really know. Oh, there's another bear. There's two right there. Wow. Hmm. Oh, well, yeah, those are definitely bear. Huh, interesting. So, yeah, I don't know. I'll uh, try. I guess I guess I'll jump to when I see some stag, which might be a bit. So I guess I'll. But of course, it'll only be like a second for you guys. All right, guys, we welcome back. So I checked in the zones near that area I was at, and I saw nothing. I didn't, it didn't work out. So I decided to fast travel into this area. I was getting ready to go head out to a red deer zone. You can see it's like mile away but I looked down here and I saw boom right there there's a stag and clean there was a very nice looking one he looked kind of unusual so we'll see if we can get an eye on him but yeah there they are so maybe we'll start calling him in then get them and now I can't even see them but uh, yeah if I stop right here then maybe we'll try right here, hopefully they're within range. I don't know if they are. Oh. Yeah, that's, a, that's what red deer sound like. Apparently, I've never heard one myself, but maybe someday if I ever make it to Europe, I can hunt one and hear what they actually do sound like. But yeah, there. You guys can't see them now. Hope you did see them for that brief minute. They were here. They're like going that way, but yeah really far down. I can't shoot them if they're behind the ground. Oop. Well, I don't know if in hearing range. So that might be a stag that heard the calling is coming in. I don't know. Well, about time we're calling in. Maybe not. Hmm. I see so many, like, rocks and everything across. What the? Did you did you hear that? That was I didn't get the call cue for it, but that was a red stag there. I didn't get the pop up though. I don't know if you guys even heard it. It was very faint, but I still would have thought it was like that. Or... Maybe not. I don't know. I don't think they can hear me though. I might have to get closer. Thing is, I don't want to spook them. I'm very worried. Ambient noise. I thought I heard something else. Cause I have no idea where they're going. They could be like just right under the hill still, or they could have gone all the way to the river. I don't know. It's hard to guess how fast they're going. Shoot, I'm gonna get all the way down there now. Cause if one pops up right there, it's like he's gonna see me. Like right out in the open. Oh yeah, I remember what else I was gonna mention too. I was gonna do my first video I ever made on this game because well I started the channel like just barely as it was announced, so like yeah, he can hear it. Oh, heck, we'll just stick here, might as well. We might, oh no, then, oh, that would put them in the way, oh no, we have to move that way. Crap. Do that. But anyways, 
Yeah, this is during my channel just barely before it was announced. Like, but before I can make a video on this, it was announced. But oh. yeah, there's a new map coming to this game, and I'm really excited because I think it'll be perfect to make content that everyone will enjoy watching and that I'll enjoy making. And that's this game's first DLC map. I pre-ordered the game. I got the like, the uh, the Lee edition with all the extra stuff and the season pass. So I'm gonna get it for free. But the, yeah, the new map finally was announced. I knew they would announce it pretty soon. And it's called, it's gonna be called Aurora Shores. It's gonna be based in Alaska, guys. Alaska, I'm really excited. Uh, wood, woodland bison, barren ground caribou, Alaska Yukon moose. It's gonna have, of course, mountain goat, Roosevelt elk, which is awesome. I always wanted to hunt Roosevelt elk in, in Alaska. Especially on game. I've heard in real life it can be tricky sometimes and even dangerous a little bit, but. On a game, at least, that'd be a fun experience, so. And, yeah, there's gonna be Sitka Blacktail Gear, Surf Scooter. I won't call them Surf Scooter, but no, they're, they're called Surf, surf Scooter. Type of duck. Uh, so many animals, I'm really excited. Probably most excited for the, uh, in this order, the Caribou, the Roosevelt Oak, and the Bison. Bison's third, it's for my top three that I'm excited for. I mean, you know, big old bison, they're really cool looking. <laughs> and, you know, this game needs something cool and uh, unique and interesting like that. Saying the most about elk is, again, hunting elk in uh, Alaska. Wow, they're getting close. You know, again... Oh, there's two herds. Wow, look, Rilke there. That was the ones I heard at first. No, those are fallow deer. Holy cow. Are there any good ones? Three-star mature. Four-star mature. <laughs> I'm gonna have to remember this herd. Holy... I... I... <laughs> I'm gonna have to remember this herd. I'm gonna try not to spook them. The stagger this way, I have to... Anyways, yo, again, yeah. A different type of elk, and just hanging in Alaska is gonna be cool. And then... Caribou, because, I mean, they're caribous. Again, they're unique like bison, they're not deer like elk. Oh crap it. I don't know why I said that. That's a weird thing to say, but I'm angry. Hey Kimmy, look at there he is. That's a nice stag. And now he's All I can literally say is just crap. I just, I I cuz I don't cuss, but otherwise I would probably say some more colorful words, I would guess, but just shoot. That's <coughs> That close. Well, there you go. Well, we have a herd to track down now, so maybe the video will be longer. I don't know. So far, it's about 12 minutes. That's like half of what I need. So I guess it's not too gonna be too awful short. Gosh dang! I can't. Oh shoot! No, 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 no! That's not what I want. Oh shoot! I'm probably gonna. I'm probably gonna fall unconscious trying to do this, but I got stuck in it. I can't go either way. I'm literally stuck between a rock and a hard place. Rocks are here. The hard place is the ground. But I already started slipping. The only way direction I can go is down. Yeah, that's not gonna end well. What the? I didn't take any fall damage. So how? How is that possible? I don't even know. Well, this is probably a drink zone for them then if they were coming to it. Yep. Oh, rarely. Hmm. This herd doesn't even usually drink here. Oh, fellow deer drink often. Wow. Red deer drinking often. Wow, look at all these ones. Wow. Hmm. Well, yeah. Well, there we go then. We found a herd. But yeah, I mean, caribou are just so amazing, and the big bulls look so amazing. Like, that. that's probably the top animal I would go to Alaska for would be caribou. What the heck was that? Wait, there's another herd? So there were two herds. So there were two herds of red stag. Plus a herd of fallow deer. You know what? We're gonna sneak. We're gonna have to wait for this herd to come in then and see. So far you only hear the female, but I'm sure there's stags with her.
Dang. She's on to me. Really. How annoying does that get? Road deer. They literally just scream. Like, a person like scream. Like, ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha ha ha. But that is their calm call. It's just... Well, at least I have the 223. That would be perfect for Rodeo. I, don't th I think 270 would be too big. 223 would be perfect for Rodeo. I haven't, like, uses like, 300s and stuff when I'm playing games. I'm like, they're too small for that. I got 223! <sighs> that would be appropriate caliber for a uh, Rodeo. Like, maybe a 243 at the most. But they're tiny. They're not really, they're not even really a big game. I would actually say they're kind of a small game. May I show you my definitions of the type of animal is like deer are always big game. Like birds are always small game, stuff like that. Turkeys are weird, they're like between big and small game, I would say. I used to think they were big game, then realized other small game, but they're they're like Shh. Hey, they're right here, I can shoot one with the two two three. Of course I don't get a stag then. I know that's what you want me to get a uh, spice, but I just these things are yelling. You're probably used to them, but for me, this is annoying <laughs> a little bit. I can kind of make a big deal out of it just to try to be funny because I kind of want to, but that's... That's a throw? That looks like a small stag. Well, I'm going to shoot that guy then. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, that's a... They're like the size of, like, fallow deer. Is it just because they're closer? I don't know. Look at the size of fellow deer. Maybe, maybe not. He looks kind of dark, too. Well, heck, this might be a uh, bear. Still not the one you want, but... I don't think he's melanistic, but he looks kind of like it. There he is right there. He's just really dark color. Oh, wait, no, that's something else. Why, well, there's two. Oh, shoot, I'm standing. How do they not catch on? I don't get it. I think the stag are coming in, but whatever. Wait, but if I do that, I can't see, so I need to... It's that one. Then what is the other dark shape I saw? Now is that one not knowing here? These questions and more will be answered the next time that we shoo an animal. That's him right there. That's the one we want. Can we... S yes. Okay. But that one... I think it's just a shadows. Yeah. Okay. But... Let's get a shot. Yeah, I think that him hard. I honestly don't matter what tier the game cast classes them as. But you know what? No matter what. That is the 223, right? I hope so. And Tori, that is the... <clears throat> um, why do I have that one? Oh, for the bears. I could have shot one. Why do I only have a couple rounds left then? Ah, uh, he probably did die then. He's probably already dead. I know it hit him. I saw the hit. I saw the blood flying everywhere, so. Right there, yep. Yeah. Looks like a really good hit. How, animal survive. There is no way a roe deer survived a 338 Lapua round. What the heck was that sound? No way that was ambient. It was. What the heck? There's no way it's survived. That's a 338 Lapua Magnum round. No, it did not survive. There's no way. It it couldn't have. That's a 338 Lapua. I that was definitely not the right gun to use. I didn't realize it was that gun though. There's no way a roger survived a 338 Lapua. Either that or 
These are some strong red or road red road deer. Right here, yes. Then the next one is that way. There's no way this thing survived. I need to track it down. Cause it's dead. It just doesn't know it yet. No, there's no more blood. It somehow a roe deer survived a three three eight round to the shoulder. Wait, or is that right there? Did it? No, it's like a rock in a tree. That's very interesting. I'm not. I just don't understand what happened, but that's okay. I don't have to. I guess people made roe deer is tougher than they actually are. That's kind of interesting. Or maybe they are actually tough. I mean, in the comments, if you're from Europe, let me know if you are actually tough. Okay, because if they are, I'll listen to a bunch of Europeans shouting at me saying you're wrong, Rex. You're they're you're stupid. They're really tough. Although I would appreciate if you did it a little bit more politely. But if you were like that, I would understand. But it's just it's my impression that they're like they weigh like maybe 50 pounds for a giant mature buck, if that. They're just tiny. They're like coyote size, so they're like small game. They're not really big game then, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. May they weigh more than 50 pounds. May they just look that way to me, but I don't know. Based on my North American experience, that is, they be coyote sized and thus small game. But just, just let me know, and I appreciate you politely. But whatever, just if, you, if you're from Europe, I'm not gonna hear from other North Americans because we don't know what we're talking about. Uh, so you really hunted at me, bro. Like. You go to Europe that much and hunt them, but anyways, just let me know, please. If Ro are really that tough, that they can actually survive a 338 Lapua Magnum bullet that I thought was vital. Apparently, wasn't, but anyways, so they can sur just any 338 Lapua Magnum hit that they can survive. Just let me know and how tough or not or big or whatever they actually are. Thank you, I appreciate it. All right, well that in any case that failed to get the stag there, so. And after shooting the road deer, I don't think they're coming back. What the? Crap, what did I speak now? Red deer again. Holy cow. Oh, that's a five. That's a five star. That was a five. That's a, that's a five. <laughs> we're, we're tracking these guys down. That was a five star. I, yes. You guys are probably like, why are you getting so sight? I haven't seen a 5 star ammo in this game yet. And Red Dag is a decent ammo to get 5 star out. And Dwello, I guess Dwello just brings me to luck. He shot a, a melanistic one, uh, meal deer before in Classic. And so then I found one while recording and was able to shoot. He told me, before I started recording this video, go find a 5 star Red Dag. And now I guess I'm going to find one. Holy cow. I need to very carefully track these guys. Oh my goodness, I don't know which way they're going. I found my five star. I found it. It's amazing. Well, this clip is already going on pretty darn long, so I guess this video is going to end up being longer than I thought it would be, huh? So anyways, I'm gonna do the jump cut, then I'll I'll let, I'll uh, see you guys when I find the stag, and I'll bring you right back when I find him again. So see you in a second. See see you then. All right, guys. So welcome back. I unfortunately changed the time. I don't want to do that for two reasons. One, it breaks the immersion. You know, ability to change time. You know, you don't have them in your life, so it kind of breaks it into any time you like. You know, any more time progression. I mean, they. It used to be if you could time change and then fast forward time and then that would allow, make animals grow. And they didn't change, they changed that, but now it's still like, you know, real time and apparently in game time combined, like for animals to age. So, I mean, I think they changed it so it's not like that, but I still feel like any time, you know, you're changing time, it could allow the animals to grow older. But, anyways, I did that. This herd's back, so this is the herd we initially spot down here and then. Spooked, so I have to be careful. But I also heard a red stag hind alerted, like up here, and so I had to actually crawl. I was crouched, it wasn't working, I had to crawl 
up to over here. So that she didn't spook. But I'm guessing then, you know, this is the hair we saw here before. I think it's different her than the five star, but we the one with the five star we like spooked somewhere around that area. So I'm thinking that hind could be that that could be the herd for the uh with the five star. Cause well yeah, this one clearly isn't it. I've looked at it, there's like I think three stags in total. There's the one star adult, there's the two star mature and the three star mature. Oh I guess there's another a one star young. So maybe like four. But it's no five star. So I'm thinking I want to see that three star mature. Because he's lighter, I keep thinking like oh maybe he is albino then. But now especially right here, now I get a better look at him. He's he's not. He's definitely not albino. He's just really pale because he's older. But it's not albino. It's not rare. So I really want to shoot him still, even if I know he's not exactly rare. But especially after hearing that hind there, I mean I haven't heard it for a while. I only heard it like once or twice. But I'm thinking that's the hurt the five stars. So if I shoot one down here and they're still there, obviously they're gonna spook and it'll be hard to track them again. Like I never could find him after they spooked initially that time. So. I'm thinking, well, and there's the sound too, how close, 240, 260, he's just behind these trees, like, we barely, just barely can't see, so I think if we wait, hopefully they'll come down this way, I don't know if they will, but I hope so, you know, this is right here, I'm crouched, but I'm still moving around, so I'm hoping those ones don't spook, oh, and they did, at least they're spooking in a direction that I don't think will be a problem, hopefully. It went that way. So whatever's over there, it sh shouldn't be a problem then. But I'm hoping we can get closer to whatever it is, and if it's the five star, we can cl call him in. So yeah, let's go do that. I did a bunch of, I mean, I did that jump cut. It's probably been like, it's probably 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes since the last one. Then you know, obviously only second for you guys, but yeah, it's been a while for me, so I don't really want to jump cut again for a while if I don't have to. I only keep recording. I'm I mean, just find the five star, just shoot him, boom. I mean, it's not the rare, but then the video is done. We're good then. But obviously, you, always, you don't always get something big. So, so far, every one of my videos has had at least a pretty decent angle to end it. But, you know, that's not how hunting always is. You always get that. So, I don't know. Eventually, you guys might just have to accept I won't, you know, hunting is what it is. I won't always get a big one. But for now, it seems like we're at least destined to see a big one in every one. Every time so far, I then may it count. We'll see if this one continues, but at least see something really nice. Or at least pretty darn nice every time, so. See, so way over the hill, but I can't see it. Whoop. And then the row, but they're down there. So, wait, that's a. That's not a row. That can't be a row. Yeah, that's a red. Is that the same herd as spook? I don't know. <laughs> but, uh... Dang, I don't know if that's the herd we spooked, or if that could potentially be in the herd, like, say, the five star. I have no idea. I still don't know what it was up here. Dang, this is tough. Caught between like a rock and a hard place, as they say. Dang. Hmm. Best course of action might be just to wait and see. Dang it. So tempting to push for it. Oop. Ow. Okay, that did a bit of damage, but uh. Probably really should wait, so. Maybe we'll just wait, like, right here. And now I gotta do more jump cuts, so uh. So let's see if I can do something quickly. But either I'll just jump right back in and we'll continue, or I'll let you guys know when I see something. But in any case, I'll see you guys again. 
Hi guys, so welcome back. We have a herd of red deer over there, which I'm pretty sure is the ones that we spooked, so yeah. We heard something walk over there, probably not a herd of red stag, but they're not any close, and then we heard more over here, and I just heard a red stag roaring from this direction. We get closer, so we should be within calling range. The only thing I can figure is that it is the five stars, so he's gonna be really close when he comes in, but yeah, so we'll just. Uh -huh. so far, let's start calling in. High fitness call the building with chuckle, you know, the roar. And I guess that one's road deer, but we don't want that. But hopefully, this red deer comes in, and hopefully, it's the five star. Or at least his herd. If it's at least the herd of the five star, obviously, that'll be pretty darn good. That'd be really awesome. Can you imagine? Finding or finally seeing red st uh, a five star that'd be amazing. <laughs> and there he is. is. That two? There's two. Dang. Hopefully this closer one's the five star then. But they're both responding. That means they're both high fitness. The only thing I can figure is that this is his herd. The other one was like 20 or it's like 20 or 40 yards behind. No, it's like yeah. No, it is. It is 20 to 60 yards behind. Oh. oh. <laughs> This guy is about to come over the top. He'll be like right here any second. Shut up. I hate road deer. They're still out. Wait. Uh. Well, I don't think that one can hear though is the thing. Not close enough. Whereas these ones are. Almost time to do a roar again. Out oh, there. Uh, yep. Feel like that. 80 to 100 yards. Yeah, so he's close. That one's not too far behind. In fact, I think I see him. Yes, I do. Let's take out. That's a pretty nice stat. That is a three star mature. Dang, well. Hopefully the other one appears soon, because otherwise we're going to have to shoot the three-star mature. Really, really, really don't want to have to do that. Send me that star one, please. Um, I don't like that. There is your... That is him. This is going to be really tough, guys, but that is them. That is the five-star. I can't even see him that well, but wow. Okay. Moment I've been waiting for. I don't even know if that one hit. But that first hit looked really solid. We should finally, finally have a five-star. If you guys don't know what, I'm, what I mean, you'll, you'll, you'll find out. I'll tell you when we get over to him. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I finally did it. Yeah, if you're wondering what I mean, just just wait. You'll, I'll tell you once we get to him. Or if you are, you know, if you know me already a bit, you already know what I'm talking about. But Yes. So then he went this way. Is that another? No. Oh yeah, actually I think that is another impact. But the important thing is that was a good hit. The first one at least was. <clears throat> Which, wait, hold on. Don't want to lose the blood trail. That would not be good. Gotta make sure we still are following it. Right here. Pointing that way. So, aha, uh -huh, yep, right here. I'm gonna, ch you know what? 
as much as this is probably one of the most important trying jobs. I'm actually, this is the first one I'm really going to try to do without current sense. <coughs> Especially because the leaves are orange, but actually, yeah, they're orange. They're not like red or anything. So they kind of contrast the blood pretty darn well, actually. I can't see that one. You know, I'm going to have to use it a little bit. Oh, wait, never mind. There he is, right there. Oh my goodness. Of course, he died in a tree or by a tree. What? Actually, that's gonna... Is this antler clipping through? I don't think either antler are clipping. They're not clipping through the ground. Oh, yeah. This is good. This is good. Ooh. Okay, so guys... Alright, I'll tell you. So finally, this... My first ever 5 star. Yep, that's right. This is my first ever 5 star. I play this game since release day, and I never have found a 5 star till now. I think it's because when I started I uh, didn't manage my herds very well I just kinda ended up killing whatever I didn't really pay as much attention as I probably should have is that actually gonna work? you know actually I kinda yeah I do I like that I like that a lot so maybe zoom in I'm trying to remember zoom in is well we could just get closer maybe a little so let's try it yeah just up a little a little bit closer. Yeah, look at that. That is beautiful. But anyways, I you know, so I probably killed some animals I shouldn't have. You know, I I thought I was doing a good job managing, but I was too casual with it. So I shot some animals I probably shouldn't have. I didn't follow my herds around as much, look around for the five stars, you know, make sure I was shooting the bad genetic ones and leaving the good genetic ones, that especially that. And so I never found a five star. Until now. And actually, I just decided I'm gonna do, and you know, as a rested shot too. Quickly, so we're gonna move good old River Knox out of the way, and then we're gonna like that beautiful. Look at that, perfect. Right here, yeah. Cause that that just landed perfectly. You ground the tree, but antlers aren't actually clipping through the ground. Actually, I think, yeah, his third point, that would actually be four, oh no, I wouldn't be fourth and L. Yeah, I guess that one's clipping three, or maybe he doesn't have one there, but I don't think he'd be a five if he ends, so. It probably, he probably does, it's just clipping through, but that's fine. My first ever five star, guys. Yeah. Woo! Oh, I'm so happy. Let's go take a look at this guy. Oh, shoot, I forgot why I left him. <laughs> Wait, how? Oh, I like actually don't remember where he is now. That's funny. Oh, right there. Oh, I looked right past him. That's hilarious. Anyways. Anyways. Beautiful. Wait, when did I, when did I shoot him before? Oh, wait. Yeah, I shot him twice. So that one probably would have brought him down. Just left a long shot. This one was really bad hit. It went into the intestines, yeah, and stomach and artery. Artery at least is good, but yeah. So four star harm rate because I did shoot him twice. Ninety nine percent jet. That's amazing. Yeah, and a five star trophy ring. Dang, look at that. Yeah, yeah. 496. They max out 500. At least it currently how the game is. So that is amazing. Let's see this guy. Wow. Look at that. Uh, what is up? I don't. Have, I have no idea. There we go. Like that. Yes, I like that. Maybe down a little. And like that. Perfect. Yes, I like that a lot. And back. Yes. And are we going to sell this guy? No, uh uh. We aren't. We're going to taxidermy this sucker. There we go, guys. Oh, and I'm in single player, too. So, heck, I can't even go mount. Let's do that, then. Let's go mount this guy. And then this video is way longer than I originally intended, but I also originally intended to be shorter than any of my other ones, which, no. I think this is going to be good, but yeah, it's going to be a bit long one again, but 
I love this game. It's a good game, and so it kind of deserves that. So, yeah. Where do you want to put him, though? That's the question. I haven't really looked at all the mounts in this game. You wouldn't found that one. That's fine. I, didn't, I mean, yeah, it kind of makes sense. Red Deer Calm. I mean, maybe we can maybe do that. Red Deer Fleeing. Brown Bear Attacking a Red Deer. Brown Bear Towering over a dead Red Deer. That, that could be... No, I know I want this one to, like, live. I want to do it. I want to do full buy. It's my first five star. Heck yes, I'm doing live buy. Live buy. Full buy mount. Even. This one might have some good ones. Yep. Like I was hoping for. The fighting. Then again, fighting, it's like, well, yeah. Calm, even. That would shoot a hind. That wouldn't be too bad, though. I mean, the culling one, but it looks like it probably clipped through the window. The fighting, that looks nice, but I want the antlers to show up really well. So, you know what? We can do that. But I wonder if there's another stand, like, like maybe we can put them upstairs. Like, you know, first five star, we want them in a special place of honor. I don't even know if I've ever looked at the plaques up here. They might even just be wall plaques. Nope. Oh, there's one single one. Red Deer Calm. Ooh, that could be a good one. Red Deer Fleeing. Oh, this one again. I mean, we'll probably do one with one eventually. But do we want to do the calm here, or do we want to do the calm down there? Did we ever find another stag? I mean, we're more likely to shoot a stag than a hind. Yes, we're going to do that. So we're going to do this one. Oh, wait, we have our three stag... Hmm, maybe, maybe, we'll see. No. Three star? I don't know. We'll think about it. But as of right now, there he is. Look at that beast. Does he even clip through the ceiling? I don't think he does all. Now, does he kind of, he kind of, I mean, with that chandelier a little, like, actually, I need to, yeah. I mean, he kind of clips with the chandelier, but not too bad. Enough that I'm fine with it, honestly, because, you know, it kind of be weird like that anyways in real life. And that side is fine. Look at that beast. I'm gonna, Yeah. That direction, maybe? Okay. We had to check different times of day, see what gives us the best laying up here. Probably about noon. Yeah. Yeah, look at that thing. Wow. Just, just look at that. I like that. Can we... I don't think we can. That's fine. That works. Ah, uh, I can't tell you guys how stoked I am. I finally got a 5 star. Finally got one. The rest of I originally wanted an elk. It's not an elk. I want my elk to be first. But it's, uh, you know, the same genus. It's closely related to elks. So, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Really nice. Who knows why your surprises are hanging on on translating for us? May it's not too bad after all, then I guess we'll see. But uh yeah, I was gonna do it for this one guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't leave a like, new please subscribe, I'll appreciate it. If you want to see more content like this, first of way of the hunt video, but it ain't sure ain't gonna be the last, especially with the Roar Shores coming out soon. Got some classic videos up, we're gonna do more variety, plenty more. So yeah. Leave you know in the comments, you know, yeah, comment on it, let me know what you think, and, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy as much as I did, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, until then, keep on hunting, fishing, doing stuff in the outdoors, protecting our natural earth, and until next one, Series 110 out, yee -haw!